Guantanamo Bay detention center is turning 20 yeah. tomorrow. Um, President Biden had promised to close the yeah. prison. New York Times reported uh, late last year uh, that the Pentagon is building a second courtroom. Um, can you highlight or update us on any steps that have been taken by the DOD or the administration in general towards uh, fulfilling that promise? Well, I would tell you the administration remains dedicated to closing the detention facility at Guantanamo Bay. There's nothing, nothing's changed about that. We are in a, a review right now about the way forward there, so I won't get ahead of that. Um, uh, and, but, but to that end, as uh, the National Security Council staff continues to work closely with, with us here at DOD, with the State Department, uh, with the Justice Department, and other departments and agencies across the federal government about what that's going to look like going forward. And when is that review? Um, uh, I would done? point you to my colleagues at the National Security Council staff. They're running that process. Uh, but we continue to uh, be committed to closing down that facility. Um, and of course, to uh, uh, that means whittling down the population, which is very small right now. I think uh, uh, there's a less than, yeah, less, uh, just over three dozen uh, detainees remain from the nearly 800 that uh, were there at its peak. So small number. Uh, not surprisingly, they are the hardest cases uh, to, to, to deal with and to adjudicate. Um, and, and so we're working our way through that right now. So, but up until this review is over, no steps have been well, taken. Again, I don't want to get ahead. No, I wouldn't. You're asking for concrete steps uh, to close it. Well, that's what the review is about, is helping us find out what the best concrete steps are, are for. Yeah, so in the meantime, though, yeah. in the meantime, uh, again, without speaking to Carol's question specifically, I don't have anything to announce or speak to with respect to that today. But in the meantime, we continue to look uh, and have looked for ways uh, through the review board process uh, to, um, to transfer and relocate detainees outside of the facility. Can you, can you say how many might be eligible for reallocation? So I would tell you uh, 13 of the remaining detainees are eligible for transfer. Uh, the diplomatic process is underway to work to transfer or repatriate them as appropriate. Fourteen are eligible for a periodic review board. All of them have undergone a review since the start of this administration. Ten are involved in the military commissions process with charges pending or a trial or pretrial proceedings that are underway. And two, de two detainees have been convicted in military commissions. Um, so 39 in total, right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.